here is just a addition somewhere in the video look at this now what is this woman doing she is grinding corn and all the women are singing to her remember and the song grandma sang to you the corn that she was grinding look at her beautiful outfit and she is busy as a bumblebee and that's basically how she uh she was grinding corn and then here here she is weaving a rug do you remember and how cool is that and i'll put the captions on there so that we can uh, add this look how beautiful that that rug is oh i love that color beautiful and yeah there was women who actually wore their jewelry when they when they did this and this is just decor we're going to go over here and i'm going to tell you about the cha oh this is uh, actually um i will go back here there's i don't know why they have the cha oh thing here cha oh means you know the shade house and grandma's coming over this way um shade house Wait, let, let's read this one summer dwelling filled uh, ramada or sun shelter all mean the same a flat roof shade house consisted of a flat roof of poles look at this over there kind of right there um, or cedar bark supported on stringers running between eight to a dozen vertical posts shade houses are built by most of the southwestern tribes it is apparently the only remaining Puebloan vestige of a construction technique once commonly used in the building of pit houses. Unlike Pueblo Ramadas, Navajo shade houses seldom have earth covered roofs and are not used as above ground platforms, although they are sometimes used as drying and storage areas, keeping fodder or hay above the platforms um, above the reach of livestock, it is common to use apricots or ears of corn drying on, drying on top of the shade house, which is so true. You could smell that. It's so wonderful. Um, then today in the southwestern region of the U.S., it is not uncommon to see the kitchen separated from the main house. The purposes are twofold. One, in the summer, a kitchen can get a well-insulated house very hot. Number two, a southern house will have less chance of burning down if separated from the kitchen. The shade house is usually primarily for summer living, cooking, and working areas. Often one will see a rug loom inside the shade house. They often contain wooden crate cupboards, cupboards or utensils and may have nails driven into the upright post for hanging clothes and equipment, horse bridles, horse feed bags, etc. Although the shade house cuts the wind, they can be temporarily abandoned and go to the Hogan in the event of an occasional sandstorm. During such a sandstorm, a Navajo family, the Navajo families will eat leftover tortillas with canned peaches, spam or meat jerky, but will not make a fire in the Hogan. At ceremonials, large shade houses are constructed for guests. Now you're gonna see that, okay? Uh, way beyond, okay? That's over, let's see, let me see if I'm, I'm pointing the right way in the camera. See, here's the small shade. There's the big one that we're talking about over there yonder. It looks like a fort. And at ceremonials, large state houses are constructed for guests. They generally have multiple doorways, which we're going to see, and parts of the interior may be partitioned with canvas hangings or pole walls. The number of hearths under such a structure reflects the number of visiting families. Such shade houses are typically built just northward of the ritual Hogan. If a, if a Navajo child crawls out of an opening in the shade house other than the door, the child must re-enter the shade house through the exact, exact same opening that they just exited from. It's so weird. I mean, it's not weird. It's just the way things are. I'm going to show you the pictures. Here's um, just different pictures. Here's the shade house over there that we're going to go see. It looks like a fort, huh? Here's another type of shade house. Here's this one. I think it looks, yeah, it's like the one we're going to go see. So anyways, now we're going to go over and see the shade house and there's starting people starting to come here. Now here is the shade house. This is so nice. Now remember the cha, oh, I told you I drew it. Our, our shade house looked different than this and everybody, it's according to everybody, you know, however you build it. But um, look at this. 
yeah, you have, you know, the, the, I don't know, there's the cedar stuff up there on top. It was probably green and beautiful. Usually it is. And notice these are the, the pylons or whatever. The, this is, look how pretty. These, this is what holds up the, and they're all, there's one, there's six of these, seven, eight, nine. There's nine of them. And you sit under here. Look at this. Somebody has set up a table and you can eat here. Um, it is a nice shade area and they have chicken wire here and you know you, you just were creative it was beautiful and and you ate out here and the wind I mean uh, you know you, the, you feel the air breeze through and it's just the way it was uh, you know my grandmother had her you know like they had it uh, we'll sit down here for a bit here and she would have her weaving loom here and, and excuse the cars and McDonald's in the background, but uh, this is just a place where they're showing all of this. And anyways, my grandmother would have her loom out here and I'm just gonna keep it up here. And it was beautiful. And usually you had greenery, you know, uh, up there, it was so pretty. And um, you had tables out here, just like this one and you wait out here oh it's just i it, you can feel the breeze and it's a shade after you know especially whenever there's a you know it's a hot day like we've been having and just beautiful so uh this is this is a cha o cha o okay and grandma's trying to this this is just so cool i love kianta uh look beyond kianta see over there uh that's where I used to live for a purpose. Anyways, and then um, Monument Valley's out that way. Beyond this, another wagon. Oh, look, there's another wagon, how cool. Okay, so I wanted you to see this uh, again. This is a cha'o, and thank whoever. Uh, the, these guys are so cool that they created this for us to see all in one place, and Boy, I would like to build a chat well, for all of you guys, and we can just have a have fun making our our uh, our our dzé. Uh, go pick some berries and go make jewelry and eat, and have fun making food out there. Uh, oh, I wish I could gather you all in my arms and just hug every one of you and love you and just tell you how much I love you so. I just love you. Just you have no idea. Can I tell you what a wonderful? Uh, how wonderful it is to get away from the campaign and who cares what happens on Tuesday really I just leave it to God and I'm happy to be here among what you know my culture and my the, the beauty of the memories of where the way life used to be and how the Diné build these things and how beautiful so I I have happy memories I'm thinking how wonderful it would be to have all of you come and sit under a cha o isn't this cool look at this cedar stuff oh i love this oh i just love this i don't know why it just just beautiful look how cool look at that see how the they just make it so they can place this over here and it's it's just oh i just love this next to mcdonald's oh no it's burger king oh heavens Anyways, so here we are, beautiful Chao, and Grandma loves you again, and I hope you're understanding how cool this is, and to stand underneath and to feel the cool air and the shade. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I think of the Italian or, uh, people that, you know how they have something like this, and then they have the grapes growing, and they hang, and you can pick them while you're while you're eating so cool anyways and that's far off which has nothing to do with this but anyways i love you all and look at it's raining over there that's black mesa over here and um over there beautiful people everywhere so um uh, here we go this is 10-4 grandma loves you this is the chao and uh teaching you a lot 10-4. Love you.